competition in the competition there. If you do need help at some point, who's just like your first and yeah, second sure. draft yeah, pick from safety? And obviously, I know you got to fight the other coaches. For that. Um, it's kind of hard to say. Um, like I told a couple people, we've got four guys now who play corner and safety between last season and now. Uh, so that gives us some versatility in the secondary. Uh, right now, at the point that we're at, we're just trying to find our best 11 guys, and whether that's corners or safeties. Um, we don't want to move guys every day, but we want to make sure they have um, enough knowledge and fit in the right system, fit right in our system. Um, so I think we got a good group that has some versatility that we should be okay. Could that be a case of, hey, this week, this guy might be a better fit based on who you're playing? Uh, probably not. Really? Um, in my opinion, uh, we want guys to get as, as much knowledge as they can in the position they have. If needed, uh, we'll coach them up and get them moved. But we want to try to find our strengths early on in camp and see what guys do well. And I think we'll make that decision probably here in the next couple of weeks. Talking to Akeem Bailey yesterday, he said, it's all about confidence for me and being able to put bad plays behind me, that he talks to you and Gibby about that all the time. What's the message that you send to him? How do you try to build that? Him? Um, you know, I think sometimes for guys like him, he played a lot last year. I had some ups, had some downs. Um, spent all season really developing his body, developing his game. And I just encourage him to play hard, play physical. Don't worry about making mistakes. If you make a mistake, put it behind you. And, and that's what we get paid to do, the coaching on doing the right things. Um, just play hard, have fun doing it, and everything else will fall in place. I know you want to get